Good morning, folks. We're going to begin today with Stellarium, a free internet program from Stellarium.org. We're going to bring time forward to around noon local time. Have the sun up at the top of the sky. Now, let me turn off the atmosphere function so we can see what the daylight hides. Mercury, heading in for solar conjunction in just another three or four days. It's the primary planetary geometry of note to finish up this month of April. Next, we're looking at scenes from climate number four, way up above the clouds. Above the roof of the ozone, we find polar mesospheric clouds, although their popular name of noctilucent clouds will likely stick long term as their strictly high latitude location is trekked further and further southward with stronger and more enduring seasons. In climate number four, we get a brief look at the changes in Earth's electric layers as a complement to all our other climate discussions. The change is indicative of an energetic shift. Good article out of Yale describing how the Antarctic used to be warm. We all know that ancient climate shifts took us far beyond the bounds of our current ranges. Also recall that the continents once shifted. Earth's poles have reversed numerous times and there are a number of other potential causes of this major change. I'm also reminded of accounts from China, Africa, and Native Americans in times long past of the sun rising in the opposite part of the sky. Florida may then have been covered in ice. Final article, intriguing progress into stellar studies of size using binary lensing. It's tough because it required the couple to conjoin from our perspective. Now we're at the alert map where the energetic events in the West Pacific continue. More volcanic upticks, and the storms are also not stopping. Indeed, we're looking at a low there for development in the coming days. Meanwhile, out in the Indian Ocean, Cyclone Jack is established but likely doomed to loneliness for the remainder of his days. By the time he hits Australia, if at all, it'll be much weaker. The low to the north is actually the top concern today here as a major flood watch should be ringing in northern Australia. Over in Europe, we're seeing the top concern as that North Atlantic low. The convergence line is closer to the coast than it was the past few days and we'll watch for that crest overnight or into tomorrow. Bit of a lighter day over here. That northern low has the top watch actually for snowstorms into eastern Canada. Also note the progress of the North Pacific lows towards our coastlines here. Solar wind speed is dropping still. Hope you paid attention the last two days because no more shocks have hit. The main CME impact was from the M7 blast and we're now heading back towards calm on all metrics. Smoothing. Solar flaring is not major, but it is slightly elevated from the previous 24 hours. The bigger spots head for the limb, taking Earth's magnetic connection with them, while the Earth-facing spots appear ready to lay down in the street. Mark my words, the only huge Earth-side eruptions today would have to be filamentary. They won't be solar flaring. Either way, we've got the next coronal hole incoming. Positive green, still blocked by blue umbral fields, but almost in a position to affect Earth with its magnetism. Once that occurs, we'll combine with the Mercury conjunction, which three or four days away is already significant, to ramp the earthquake condition index. Right now, we're mostly green on the coronal hole power. That's medium, but that is highly variable. We'll keep an eye on it, and we do already see power points within. That dark area heading in on the solar equator is the important bit of the coronal hole. The thin, dark, rope-like plasma snakes in the corona to the north and south are the primary earth-facing filaments. Storm watch is generally low, solar flaring should be low, but the earthquake index begins to ramp back up today after a couple of days of quiet earth since the last uptick. Already took one above average in Slovenia this morning. Shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.